guys, welcome back to my channel. And I know you're thinking one of two things. You're either thinking, wow, Lola, you haven't made a video in like freaking forever or two. You're thinking, who's this black girl and when did I subscribe to her channel? But no, I'm kidding. In all seriousness, I know I haven't made a video in a really long time. And truth be told, I just kind of got caught up in life. But now I'm back. I'm going to be more serious like I was before and start actually carving out some time to make videos for you guys because I actually love doing this. And yeah, I thought I would share some of my favorites. I'm not going to call it my October favorites because it's like, what, November the 13th? But I guess technically if I wanted to call it my October favorites, I could could still call it my October favorite but we're just gonna call it my current favorite so with that being said let's jump right into this I want to share two things with you from Lush this is the Lush lip scrub mine is in the flavor bubblegum I love using this anytime I put a mask on my face after I take my mask off I usually put this on because this is basically kind of like a mask for your lips but I say mask because it just kind of like takes off all the dead skin and kind of gives your lips a fresh new, I don't know, a fresh new look. That's why I say it's a mask for your face. And mine isn't, did I say this isn't bubblegum? I had one that was uh, the yellow one. I can't remember what the yellow one was. But yeah, the bubblegum one is my favorite. And my second Lush product is Mask of Magnet, Mag, Magaminty. I love this mask so much. It reminds me a lot of the mask from um, Glam Glow, the Hollywood Glam Glow. I think that's what it's called. Whichever one is in the black tube. And honestly, it, uh, the Glam Glow has like that debris in it. And this has debris in it. But the thing about the one from Lush is that it's a fraction of the price. I think the Glam Glow is will run you what like $60, $70. I did a cash or trash video on it. And in that video, I said that I liked it. I just didn't know if it was worth the price. If you want a mask that's really close to Glam Glow, I suggest you try this. This is just as good. Um, I think with a lot of products, they kind of get hyped up because certain people or certain names get behind them and they're good but they're just not worth 60 or $70. Or honestly, just not everyone has that kind of money to shell out on a mask. So if you want something that's like Glam Glow, I suggest you trying out this mask. There's another one that the girl at Lush told me about. I can't remember what it was called. I wanna say it's something cupcake. I don't know. I know it's one that you have to keep on the refrigerator after I'm done with this one. I'm going to try this one. I mean, after I'm done with this one, I'm going to try the one that she was telling me about. And everyone at Lush, at least when I go to my Lush, everyone is always really nice. If you don't have a Lush near you, you can always go online. And Lush is cruelty-free because bunnies are already cute. They don't need makeup. So, yes, you should try out those two products from Lush. My next two products, they're both from Estee Lauder, and these are products that I stole from my mom, and I say stole because I didn't really steal them because she, she knows I have them. And this, and I got these from her during the summer. We went to Texas like in June or July. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Time Zone Night Cream, and this is just like a wrinkle cream, obviously Advanced Time Zone. Um, I really, really like this. She gave me two. Well, I took two of them from her. My other one's empty. It has a nice soft scent. This one's almost empty. I'm really sad about it. But my birthday's coming up and I'm going to tell her I want this. I really, really... I When I started using this, I actually started to notice a difference in my skin. And this one is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Eye Repair. Again, this one is also almost empty uh I want to see I think she gave I think she had two of these as well I don't know how much these are because these are um she got these like gift with purchase because she has like Estee, my mom had all this Estee Lauder stuff when I went to her house I'm like why do you why does my mom have more makeup I mean not that it's bad I mean because it's like half of it she's like oh you can have that you can have that 
But yeah, so she had all this awesome Estee Lauder stuff. So I took like all this stuff from her. So yeah, these are like two gifts with purchase and I took them. She didn't want them. She's like, I don't even use that. I was like, well, give it to me, sister. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna ask for these for my birthday. Cause like I said, when I started using both of these, I actually noticed a difference. Cause you know, sometimes when you use stuff and you're like, well, I guess it's working. I'm not really sure. Anyways, moving on. My next product is like a charcoal sponge. Um, I know you can get these at Target. I got mine from Marshalls and I know Sephora has one. Mine ran me about like $4. I think at Target it'll be like $6. Sephora is probably going to be like $25. But it's basically, I use this when I don't use my facial brush or my Clarisonic. I use these. Get this wet it's obviously going to expand because it's a sponge just like any sponge you get it wet it's going to expand and it just kind of like deep cleans your face and i really like it and yeah like right now it's hard like when it's dry it's really really hard but then after you get it wet it softens up gets all that crap out of your face and my next favorite is a mascara and i know you guys are probably thinking like Every other favorite you talk about a mascara, but I think that this may be the mascara. I, I actually love this mascara. I don't think I've ever said I loved a mascara before. I don't know. If I have said I loved a mascara, I retract that statement. And that mascara I said that I loved, it is now second place because this mascara right here is first place. This is the Bare Minerals. Flawless Definition Curl and Leaf Lean. I freaking love this mascara. I love, 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 love this mascara. This mascara is my favorite mascara. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it, but someone I know, his girlfriend had on this mascara in an Instagram picture, and I was like, hey, ask her girlfriend with mascara she's wearing and she replied back to me and she said this is what she was wearing so obviously I went to that place Ulta <laughs> I went to Ulta and I got it and the only bad thing about this mascara I think this one is $18 so yeah so it is it is kind of like a hard pill to swallow but here's the thing when it's when you find a mascara that's worth it, then it's okay to spend that $18. Opposed to buying a whole bunch of $5 mascaras, think about it this way, you buy you buy two $5 mascaras, it's just wasting your money. But you buy one $18 mascara that's worth the money, you win. So yeah, and then sometimes um, I actually stocked up on these because, was it the 21 Days of Beauty Ulta had? Was it the 20? Yeah, I think when Ulta did the 21 Days of Beauty, they had this where you could like, it was like, um, buy one, get one, or it was like two for the price of one. Whatever it was, I can't remember what it was, so I stocked up on these, so I have like backups. This is the best mascara ever. I love this mascara and my last favorite oh wait two more favorites my second well, not my second my second to last is this little pouch i got this from sephora um i had sephora points and i got the little bobby brown kit i didn't shockingly enough i didn't necessarily care for the bobby brown stuff that was inside but I really like this because lately I haven't been wearing like tons of makeup. Excuse me. I've just been wearing like eyeliner, my mascara, and then um, this that I used to fill in my brows. Anyways, point is I've been keeping this in my actual bathroom instead of coming in here to do my makeup. Because if I'm only wearing eyeliner and mascara, I don't need to like sit down down and do my makeup I can just stand up and do my makeup and I don't want to have my makeup all over my counter so I've just been keeping it in this cute little pink pouch so this is my other favorite and yeah I got this did I say oh yeah my Sephora points so and my last favorite is I believe I've talked about this 
and another favorite before this is the clean and clear morning burst hydrating moisturizer ultra lightweight won't clog pores provides a touch of moisturizer i actually use this just as it says a hydrating gel to me this doesn't give my face enough moisturizer so i make i take a dab of this and i mix it with my simple oil free I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Simple Lightweight. I, I don't know. I'll leave it in the description in case you guys are wondering what I mix it with. I use this with the, like I said, my Simple Moisturizer just to give my face that extra, like, ah, that I feel like it needs. And I said in my last time I talked about this, my other favorites, that it smells like nanolators, and it does. I, I really love this stuff. Well, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my current favorites. And like I said, I'm going to get back on my YouTube game and start cutting out more time for this because, like I said before, I actually really enjoy doing this. And like always, take care because I care. Bye!